action in an art show. And like I said, it's the most awesome thing that ever awesome. Thank you. Oh Scott and I like, was like, well, I think we could do this and that. And Scott and Steve took it and ran with it and made it turn out amazing. And you should all go and go to the reception, which, by the way, they will have uh, speakers and spoken word and a soft performance piece and wine. Wine? So. <laughs> <laughs> and we will also be uh, at the park tomorrow, and apparently I'm going to be singing. Oh my! The we are the mini song. Deborah wanted somebody to lead it, and I'm like, I can sing. So yeah. So actually, hopefully other people will be singing with me. They're out of town, sadly. So I think that's it. For my first point of information, um, if you're involved in my, if you're witnessing or if you're involved in my performance piece, just pay attention to space around you. Um, whether or not you're comfortable or not, just pay attention to things that are happening all around the room uh, as a hint to what I'm trying to do for the performance piece. Um, also, um, just for um, Georgia Students for Public Higher Education is going to be involved or would like to be involved in the planning for January 9th as well as United Students Get Sweatshops and uh, Cop Watch will be informed very soon about uh, how to help logistically with uh, issues we may have with um, videotaping and security uh, culture and everything. Next on stack. Okay, uh, Anna? Um, I guess I'll work back for finance and business. Finance, <laughs> we're spending a lot of money. We get bored every week. I'm sorry I don't have the exact amount. Actually worked today, so I'm not sure of the exact amount. My bad. The goal for this week was to actually open up accounts receivable, an accounts payable account, but that goal did not get accomplished. So hopefully next week we'll do it and we're going to start writing checks so we can stop handing out cash because, we're, you know, that's just not professional. Also with finance, we had an internal audit this week and we're pretty, we're, we're pretty decent. Still missing um, a lot of receipts from certain committees. Remember, even though there might be different people on the committee, the committee is responsible for the receipt. So if somebody on your committee didn't return a receipt, you need to talk to that person because that committee isn't allowed to make another request until the receipt is back to finance. Sorry about all the technical difficulties with that. Um, logistics, um, like Sarah and McSafi said, after this meeting, there will be a working group on a possible reoccupation, hammering out the details so we're not running around last minute about where's the water, where's the blanket, and everything like Sarah and McSafi said. Um, well, you have to attend the working group to know. And um, I'm going to head... Hopefully, I'm gonna head the tent organization with that because honestly, like we haven't bought, like we've lost over a thousand dollars of assets just with tents alone. So it's just very important for people to be trained in how to set a tent up and how to take it down. So hopefully we'll be issuing out like, kind of like the military, like a tent, a sleeping bag, a blanket, and that's yours and that's what you keep up with. And just training how to use Items. So, yeah. Next is Natalie. Um, hey, reporting back from Nanville Convention. Um, we had a draft statement that we put online for to get feedback that we are presenting. And we're going to how I'll make sure there's no change needs to make based on comments. And we are going to present it to Jay tomorrow. So it's a statement of purpose. Um, I don't know, I can read it, but it's online, so check the webpage, it's on the Atlanta Facebook. Is it too long to read? 
I can read it quickly. Not time for, uh, we are Occupy Atlanta. We are nonviolent movement. We stand in solidarity with Occupy movements around the world to oppose the system that has disenfranchised the people. Sorry. Um, that didn't work out. <laughs> I'll try again. Okay. We stand in solidarity with Occupy movements around the world to oppose a system that has disenfranchised the people and has sacrificed the well-being of the many to satisfy the interests of the few. We are awakening the world to social and economic injustice. We come together to engage in genuine democracy, to reclaim liberty, and to create a just system that serves the needs of all. We invite you to join us. So, um, go online, take a look, send us comments, and um, our next meeting is Sunday at 5 p.m. I think we should. Do you have a point of information? Yes. After this statement, or uh, a statement is released by the demands committee to the G8, and the General Assembly decides on this statement, it's going to replace the pledge. The, the pledge that we had, um, it was a proposal that decided that it was going to be eliminated once another statement takes its place. Do you have another point of information? Um, this is a statement of purpose. We are not putting it forward explicitly as something to replace the pledge because, as we've said, we think that that probably maybe has a little bit more to do with how we interact with one another. And we do have statements from this process that might go towards that. Um, but, so, I don't have a strong opinion over that, but other than this, is not, that is not the explicit purpose of this. So, I don't know. Um, we have another point of information? Once a pledge um, comes forth, then the old pledge is going to go away. New pledge comes forth. We have forth. a point of process. That's an opinion. That's no. not a fact. That is not a fact. She just said this is not intended to be a pledge. I, that's why I restated. Did you understand what I was restating? That the pledge, the pledge, um, this, this isn't to clarify before someone points the process to me real quick. I'm not stating my opinion about this. There is a proposal that we all decided on and there is a friendly amendment about it. The proposal, so that there's not confusion about this statement. In fact, I restated that this is a pledge that I'm speaking. I'm, I'm speaking of a pledge. Right now, I'm speaking of a pledge, not what she just said. So once a pledge does come forth, they were going to eliminate the old pledge that we use. We currently have to use it until we come up with a pledge. So, so come to that's the, all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So and, and we do we can move forward with that. So if but we were going to do it subcommittee. So if you're interested in being part of that, um, 5 p.m. is our next CGV meeting, and because that has no one has come yet come to a meeting, who's been stepping forward to work on that. So we need someone to come to the meeting to step forward to work on that. Thank you. Next on stack. Next on stack is John. Oh dang. Um, TV has an update on the bike shop. Things are going awesome. Uh, since we got all those new parts and everything, Colin and and everybody that's been working in the shop has been pumping out bikes. Uh, we've literally created probably about like four or five something bikes in the past couple days uh, and we will continue to do such. Uh, we still, you know, we want you to learn. If you have questions about bicycles or if you want to have access to a bicycle, uh, come talk to Colin and get scheduled on the thing. We're basically open from Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday from 12 to 4. Uh, you will be assisted with an, an, in, an intern, somebody that can teach you how to be able to work on bikes and everything. Uh, we do have other positions that can be filled and we can talk about that more later. Uh, we still definitely need tools. Bring your wrenches. If you've got tools, bring them. You don't necessarily have to give them to shop, but it helps to be able to have your own tools. Talk to your dads, moms, whatever. Um, kids. Your kids, yeah, if you got kids, tell them to bring their tools. Yeah. Um, furthermore, I don't know if you guys saw all the cyclists that were over there. Uh, there was like about 20, maybe like 40 or 50 cyclists that were over there. Every two weeks, there's a big uh, bike social event that happens, either Critical Mass or the Social Bike Club. Um, if anybody wants to participate in that, we can schedule events where Occupy can like get together with these big cycling events that go on around the city. Uh, it's every other, it's every other Friday of the month. It's the second Friday and the fourth Friday of the month. And. Did you have a clarifying question? Where's the bike shop? The bike shop is located in the basement of Peachtree and Pine. It's actually, if you come down our little stairwell, it's that very first door on the left, or right, then you come out there. Or if you're coming in the way, it's like right there on the left. Uh, you can only get access with one of us. Uh, so it's not like you're gonna be able to get in when shop hours aren't, aren't going on. Um, and if there's nobody there at the time the shop hour is supposed to be going on, yell at us, please. 
because we need to, you need to be on our asses. We need to make sure that this thing is up and running and that it's awesome and that it saves the world. We have another clarifying question. Do you fix bikes? Like, can we bring bikes to get fixed? Yes. Yes, you can. I mean, I was, I was driven just pumping them out. Or she was just like, yeah, we can teach you how to fix your own bike as well. Yes, because we want to not just be for people to come to us with bikes, but to know what you're doing when you're out there so that way you can do it on your own too. Cool. Next on stack. Uh, hey, quick uh, update from process. Um, we're currently working on an outline of our entire process for Occupy Atlanta, and it's really long. So if you would like to help out, please come to tomorrow's process meeting so we can uh, distribute the work evenly. Um, speaking of tomorrow, the GA will be held at Piedmont Park in correspondence with the uh, Everyday People Rally. It'll be at 3 p.m. as usual, but just at Piedmont Park. Um, I think that's it. Awesome. We have a clarifying question. Uh, have media committee handed in their process yet? They have not, from what I understand. What can I understand? And I guess to tag on to the end of that, we do continue to need internal processes. I think we have website, logistics, finance, um, outreach maybe? We've had a few, a couple more, but not nearly enough, so please continue sending this, those to us at process at Could somebody send me an email about that? Because I walk away and I forget about it, sure. but I can do that if okay. somebody sends me an email. Alright, I will. I have a clarifying question. Yes. Um, so have the committees that have already given you guys their internal report back, have you, or not inter the internal process, whatever, have you guys already posted that online, or? Not quite. We're waiting, we're waiting for um, the, everybody to get them to us so we can have the full list and everything finished. Gotcha. Anybody else? Next on stack. My hands are full. Will you point a process for me? very carefully because someone is going to point a process me and that uh, is uh, it's invalid. But, uh, the Next social time media pause. committee needs help. Um, we're gonna, uh, Thank you. We don't have a meeting date. I need to get with you guys that are inter interested in social media to talk about Tumblr and Twitter. I think that social media committee should work on uh, people that are involved with Occupy Atlanta personally. Yeah, point of process. Social media committee was never created by the GA, and it's part of media. Social sorry, media is part of media. Okay, but that is not a point of process. Um, do you have a point of information? Yes. Um, before the occupation started, there was a social media committee formed. This is a fact. You guys can double check the history. There is a social media committee. There is also a social media... Uh, I'm continuing now with my uh, social media report back. There is a social media subcommittee um, under media. There is no rule in the process at the moment that you can't have redundant committees. So if we wanted to start up an action committee separate from the action committee, we're allowed to propose that and then pass it. So there's a subcommittee, if you, people want to know, under media, but there also is a social media committee. I think that um, we all should get together and discuss personally posting things on Tumblr and Twitter. They seem to be the most powerful social media and Occupy Wall Street movement. And I want to get together to talk about specific times to go on the internet during actions to post things and also specific times to meet that don't conflict with um, GA or media committee meetings because media committee might actually have some advice to give to the social media committee which still exists until we vote for it to be dissolved during the GA. We have a point of information. At the fourth general assembly social media and tech were folded into the media committee. That happened. Uh, we have a point of process. Yes. All committees, including the facilitation committee, must be dissolved through GA. That they cannot just be merged into other committees. This, uh, this prevents, uh, this, this keeps uh, the direct democracy idea in place. That is what I just said happened. It was discussed at a journal assembly and the decision was made there. I feel I was like there. We have a point of process. I feel like we're talking about the de debating the structure of, of our assembly right now and not doing many report backs. So, Great. the end of my report back is that the social media committee will be getting together to discuss how we can all personally 
post things on Facebook, not Facebook, I'm sorry, Tumblr and Twitter. If anyone has a problem with that, I'm not a bottom liner. I just, someone's gonna start participating in a social media committee. And get with me or anybody else that wants to do social media committee to discuss ideas what to do upon social media. We have a clarifying question. Do you have any uh, set meeting times for social media committee? At the time, I don't have a set meeting time. I'm shooting for two o'clock every day. This may conflict with some actions. Um, again, I'm not the bottom liner. I don't want to be the bottom liner. Everyone should be on social media constantly uh, doing outreach for Occupy Atlanta. We have next on stack. Point of process. You have a point of process? Yeah. All right, we have a point of process. We have a number of people standing outside the circle. Can we expand our circle and make more room? Oh, yeah. It's all sloppy and wet. Yeah. In a it's, bad way. It's hard being the 99%. <laughs> Is that an Occupy joke? That would be definitely something like that. Sorry. Fuck you, mine. Bye, Jonah. I'll see. All right, next on stack. That was it. Oh, that was all? Okay. All right, now we will be doing uh, committee-related proposals. There are no. And there are no committee-related proposals. So therefore, we're moving on to um, to other proposals. I don't believe proposals. I don't believe we have any. Okay, we don't have any proposals. I would like to remind everyone that if you would like to, to propose something to the General Assembly, best way to do it, there is a drop box in the Peachtree Pine Center day room. There is also, you can email it to process at occupyatlanta.org. You can also come to a process committee meeting, which happens every uh, one hour before every General Assembly, wherever the General Assembly is going to take place. Um, we encourage you to think your to think your proposal out and to talk about it with people before you bring it to the General Assembly, so that it may be more complete and have less chance of being blocked. Also, you can uh, go to there. Uh, it's also requested that you submit a written copy for the minutes. That that yeah. It, they have okay. um, you put You we may have... also submit proposals uh, in person if you uh, even if you if you can't make it to the process committee meeting to either Trip or myself. Uh, anytime you see us. Cool. Uh, now we move on to other business. Other business is basically the time where we will discuss uh, things that we think should become proposals or things that don't necessarily have a date and time just yet. Uh, we'll be taking stack for other business now. We have Sarah, Matt, what's your name again, bro? Daniel. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> uh, Jay? Jay. Jay. Can this cover anything other business? Yes. Um, Anna? Mr. Alexander? Anyone else on stack for other business? Sorry, Softy has a clarifying question. Um, what other signal other than a point of information is not allowed during this portion of the General Assembly? Uh, yeah, there's, there's really no kind of uh, signals that are allowed during uh, during other business. Other business is basically you express what you got to express, and if you need to speak to the speaker, oh yeah, except for, you know, louder. Uh, but if you need to speak to the speaker, you may do so either afterwards or, you know, however you guys do your things that you do so well. We have another clarifying question. Uh, doing other business, you cannot um, do a uh, only, uh, uh, well, you can't, other business, you can't. Uh, Exactly. Yeah, it is, this is not the time for proposals. This is the time to discuss things that may become proposals in the future. Um, you want to be on stack or you're asking a question? <laughs> okay, what's up? Um, I have a couple of questions that I wanted to um, just put out there, so I don't know at what point that might happen. Let me put you on stack and we can talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, your name? You said you sure. mentioned no questions. Yeah. Or we have another point of information. Yeah, there is a soapbox right after another business. Yes, and soapbox would be the time that you can express freely in any way, shape, or form um, about anything that you want to. And you, that would be after the General Assembly as well. Uh, at this time, I would like for Hassan to repeat back the uh, those who are on stack. 
Daniel, Matt, Sarah, Jay, Anna, Mr. Alexander, and Sheila. Oh. Is there anyone else that needs to be put on stack for other business? And at this time, we'll be closing stack for other business. You may proceed with stack. Hey, good evening. Tomorrow, on Saturday, it will be one week since we started the reoccupation of the park here. So I feel that that's a bit of an accomplishment. Um, we're still consistently spending the night out on the sidewalk, waking up at 6 with the tents back in. Um, we have four, uh, four tents that we, that we need, actually. We have tents to spare. What we're lacking, though, is, uh, is people and, uh, uh, I guess, a, a present story of the day, which we can build that up. But um, as far as the occupation goes, it's stable, and with more participation, we could easily build back to where we were back when we uh, first occupied the park. Um, it's just a little colder. Uh, so to um, to address the weather, uh, FireDogLake.com is maintaining this um, uh, this fund called Occupy Supply. FireDogLake.com is a very anti-establishment, um, aggressive and leftist website. Um, they're maintaining this independent fund called Occupy Supply, whereby they're purchasing union-made, um, U.S.-made, um, when possible, um, cold weather gear, uh, hats, socks, boots, jackets, uh, that they're distributing, uh, no strings attached to all the occupations, the liaisons. Uh, um, they, uh, they designated designated me and Walker um, as the liaisons, uh, since we're the Fire Dog Lake members. Um, so I need to get together with somebody from logistics um, so we can properly uh, get the cold weather gear where it needs to go. Thanks. Um, I do have a point of information as well. I did want to remind everyone that other business, uh, each person gets two minutes to be able to speak. After two minutes, I will give you a point of process if you've gone over your time limit. There's a 20 minute total for, you know, for all of other business. Uh, next on stack. Uh, two questions. Up, from, up in Delonica, we have like very small groups that I'm trying to get together to do something to support the movement down here. Um, one thing I just wanted to ask, is it possible to update the needs list for something that is, this is imminent, this is what we're needing now, this week, so on? I brought some supplies and left them down at the house at 404, um, but just in general, if it's possible to have a more updated list as to what we're needing, what you all, we all are needing, um, <laughs> excuse me, the other thing is, I've come down a couple of times and I can't get here until late, so if there's something going on at Chase Bank, like I drove all over in Verizon, if we could put an address to the final destination, yeah? Oh, I'm not answering, I'm agreeing. Oh. <laughs> um, so that people that can come later on can have a very specific address where to go. Okay, I can't get there at four. I'll be there at five. That's it. And thank you, guys. The reason they did not do that is that they wanted it to. Uh, Sorry. Point of process. In other business, we do not have any any questions or information or anything like that. If you'd like to discuss something, you can discuss it afterwards with the speaker. I understand. We do not take point of information during other business. No, sir. If you'd like to address the speaker, you may do so afterwards. Oh. Um, I'm sure this has already been covered, but uh, everyday people, uh, human rights rallies in the park tomorrow, um, noon, and it's really like a giant outreach event. We'll be like spreading information, having fun with uh, painting faces and balloons and buttons, and uh, we're going to be doing like a peace march with the kids. Basically just like a day of outreach to a different group of people, a different type of people. So. Um, Every person that can be there is another voice for the outreach, another one-on-one -on -one conversation. So you can be at the park tomorrow. What park? With, with Piedmont park. park by um, the Gucci Playground, I believe is the name of the playground. It's uh, the only playground in the park. Okay, there are two playgrounds. It's the main one by the... It's by 14th Street Goldies. Okay, so there you go. Modern Playground by 14th Street and Willie's, by Willie's Burrito Place. Um, please be there. It should be fun and something different. And, and you want to you wanna 
get the masses involved. This is a new part of the mass that we haven't really reached out to, so please do that. Um, Jay, are you talking as well in a second? Are you on stack? Yeah. Next on stack? Hi, I'm Jay. I don't know if I know everyone here, but if you don't know me, one of the reasons that you don't see me as often as I'd like to be here is because I'm a mom. So your GA is on Mondays and Wednesdays when I'm home doing homework. But I can assure you that I'm working hard at my house, at my desk, behind the scenes to make some things happen here. Um, so much so that I've got a really bad headache today. A lot has happened, but I just wanted to update you on the Occupy the Dance Floor benefit that takes place tomorrow night. Um, it's been a crazy less than 24 hours. Our scheduled entertainment, um, DJ Romeo Cologne, canceled last night and is um, sidekick DJ Sofly, who was going on after him, canceled this morning. So we were left without any entertainment. We did have a connection from Mandy, and his name is Xavier DJ X. I was in touch with him today at 2:45. He is confirmed. He is saving the day. So the benefit will continue. It's, the information is on the website. Um, we did reach out through everyday people to ask for volunteers, but since there was already um, the human rights rally and then this event culminating the day, we, did, we were not successful in gaining volunteers from everyday people. We do have a guest list, and I know we have 19 or 20 people on the guest list. Um, I will be here after Soapbox. I'm asking everyone, if you are on the guest list, to just be ready to serve in some way. Um, point of process. We, we, have, we have point of process. <laughs> out of time. Out of time? Okay. okay. If we, if we reopen stack, you can okay. ask to be put on the yeah. If we reopen stack, you can definitely be put back in. Okay. okay. Uh, next on stack. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy uh, holiday. Uh, uh, I have some sad news, but I'm going to premise by I've gone from young men who hate being really distressed over the holidays to very appreciate you. Um, I have a friend that's come to me. I don't know, some of you all know Pell. Do, do some of you know Pell? Um, Pell is a 16 year old, a 16 year, uh, a 16 year old, uh, uh, year vet, uh, Marine veteran who stays up at up Peachtree and Pine. And he's always smiling. He's a beautiful human being. His wife uh, killed herself uh, a couple days ago. He's now at uh, Mother Beach, and uh, that's when he left. Um, she shot herself. I talked to him, I prayed with him about, 50, about 10, 15 minutes yesterday. And he's really hurting, and I'm hoping maybe you bring up a proposal to do something. He's he occupied. And uh, she, I uh, said, How's she doing? And he said, She's gone. So uh, he's a member of Occupy. She, she, she shot herself. And uh, his name, it, it, you all know Pill, right? I want to maybe add a tomorrow day, figure out some kind of way that we can show some love to Pill, okay? Okay, so sorry to break the news, but he's always smiling. He's a beautiful brother. So maybe we can, some kind of way, something reach out. Something tragic like that happens yeah. with anybody. Reach out to Pell and do something, do something for him, okay? Like that. Because uh, his wife uh, shot himself. I didn't mean to bring it down. That's just, that's just, that's life. Next on stack. I'm sorry about that. This is something that will possibly be a proposal to the GA. It's um, a planned occupation, a um, working group. Um, Sarah and Mickey Softy are talking about it. And it's a think tank to, talk, to um, toss out ideas for any perceived 
dilemma. Even if um, you just want to give me your email address so you can be a part of it. Um, some ideas that we have are making a list of items that we want so we can make it a grant proposal to Occupy Wall Street. Um, we, we need people to just take responsibility and be, be in charge of tasks that they would like to be in charge of. And um, just, all, just having a lot of people to brainstorm ideas for, with any complications that we might run into would be nice. But if you would like to work on a proposal for a planned reoccupation, please stay after the meeting or at least give me your email address so you can email all these ideas. <coughs> Next on stack. Sarah.